I received this wind turbine type FT400 from the company Vivor. The 3 blades rotor has a diameter of 1m30. The turbine is advertised with a power output of up to 400 watts. With the included controller, 12 or 24 volts lead acid batteries can be charged independently of a mains power supply. The wind turbine thus allows the operation of low power devices in remote areas or can make a small positive contribution to the energy bill of a household. The wind turbine is delivered in a compact box with a total weight of just over 8 kilograms. As always, high resolution photos of all parts can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. The tools required to assemble the rotor blades are included. These are made of nylon and must be bolted to the rotor hub. Two 6mm screws with self-locking nuts are used for each rotor blade. After that, the hub is attached to the 15mm shaft of the rotor with another self-locking nut. And yes, later I tightened the nut correctly without the camera in the way. The cap snaps in place on the rotor hub. The front part of the turbine with the rotor is attached to the housing with four 5mm screws. The rotor shaft is pressed into a bearing with two rows of balls type 3203B at the front part of the housing. A rubber ring seals the two components. Twelve permanent magnets are attached to the rotor. The coils wound with copper wire are located on the stator of the turbine, the iron core of these is press fitted into the housing. Since the turbine housing has to rotate in order to optimally align the rotor with the wind direction, there are three sliding contacts at the upper end of the axis. These are composed of press rings with carbon brushes and forward the generated energy to the outside via three cables in the center of the axis. The very rigid turbine housing and the sheet metal of the wind vane are made of aluminum. A second ball bearing enables the turbine to rotate. The three cables of the turbine must be connected to the charge controller. This part of the electronics is cast in a plastic block and therefore protected from harsh weather conditions. Two more cables must be connected to a 12 or 24 volts lead acid battery. The included controller is designed for a maximum current of 30 amps and automatically detects whether a 12 or 24 volts lead acid battery is connected. An integrated step-up converter ensures that the battery is charged even at low rotor speeds. The assembled turbine is to be attached to a steel tube with a diameter of about 53mm. As with all wind turbines, there is, the higher above the ground, the better the wind conditions. What can the Vivor FT400 do in practice? To answer this question, I will attach sensors to the turbine which will measure, amongst other things, the rotor speed, the alignment of the turbine housing and the charging capacity of the lead acid battery. The gained data is transmitted live to the internet and so accessible to all people interested in the results. The video of this conversion can be seen on my second channel, Homo Fazians. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.